What's up people, it's time for evolution. We welcome you back to the Ogano art family. And so rather you're loving or you're, you're hating somebody, uh, chances are you're constantly thinking about them. You know, they're constantly reappearing in the person's mind, rather it's the lover or the hater. So they always say that haters are uh, someone's greatest fans, you know? Just due to the fact they're tuning into uh, they're giving attention to that person, you know. That person is uh, all they can think about. So in a previous video, I spoke about attention. And so attention is valued in our society because big businesses would pay to advertise for your attention, to grab your attention. You know, the internet grabs your attention. There's, there's tons of distractions uh, to distract you from uh, your main goals, your main missions. But at the same time, the internet can be a blessing because there's a whole load of information out there for you to like really hone in and focus on. So it's like a double, double edged sword, you know? And so when it comes to your attention, you want to have uh, the, an individual wants to have uh, complete control over their attention. You know, you, don't, you never want to have uh, someone else that controls your attention. And so Usually, someone who's like obsessively loving someone, if you want to call that love, an obsessive version of love, or someone who is uh, hating or uh, or obsessively hating, they tend to to externalize their power, having that other person control their attention. You know, so and you always want to have a main focus, a, a main balance of your attention. You want to have complete control of, uh, of conscious awareness as, as to where your your attention is going towards and you can say that the hate emotion is a uh, very similar to the love mo the love emotion when you uh, uh, think about these two in, in comparison with one another but they're just the fact that you're constantly thinking about the other person and so how how if you if you let's say you have somebody that you just don't really like you know how would one person heal from it? Like, how would you achieve this this balance of of love and hate? Because you never want to be too too uh, adoring, too loving. At the same time, you never want to be too hating. You want to find that perfect balance. And when you're when you're around someone who's uh, who's admitting that very that that you just don't like to be around, right? If you're around someone that you just don't don't have any interest in being around, you know they're. Either they're highly toxic or uh, they're, um, you know, maybe they're just negative all the time, you know. So one, one thing I like to uh, think about whenever I'm around certain kinds of people where in which like my vibe doesn't match their vibe, uh, I usually tend to, sure, I have my respect for them. But, you know, when you when you uh, when you think about like a. A line, for example, a line, the animal, the line, right? So, when you when you think about the line, uh, you, you wouldn't want to be close, or you wouldn't want to like sit next to a line. You know, you never know what that line might do. It may bite bite your head off, you know. But from afar, you know, what if you're like a what if I'm? I know, for example, I I like lines, for example, right? So I like lines, you know. And so, although I love the line a lot. I love what it represents. I wouldn't want to be around that line because I know that it's going to bite my head off, but I can appreciate it from a distance. I can appreciate the line's nature for, for what it is, you know? So that's the same way I I uh, I treat people whenever like I'm not vibing with them, you know? And so on my journey, this is what has uh this is what helps me uh, deal with other people that I just don't have a, a, a great vibe with. So I always think about like the I always think to myself the the line analogy, you know. Although I love the animal a ton, I love what it represents. I don't see myself like being around that wild animal that could potentially bite my head off, you know. Likewise for uh, certain people that that uh, I choose to uh, surround myself with, I choose to surround my uh, energy with, you know. Uh, I know that eventually they they may not technically bite my head off, but I'll eventually feel drained, or I may feel very toxic minded about myself, or you know I'll just I, I wouldn't feel a hundred percent me. I wouldn't feel like a hundred percent 
you know, Marcus, if I hang around those people with the with that give me those uh those horrible vibes, you know, or just vibes that you know that just don't match minds, you know. So what I tend to do is uh, I appreciate them for for who they are. I understand that you know you can't really change anybody's nature. They are who they are, and only they can change themselves, you know. So when it comes to this, I like to uh, think of think to myself that this is just the way the person is. I don't have any hate for them, but I know that my vibe isn't going to match with theirs because there's some conflict or there's some toxicity going on. You know, I don't have any hate for them because I understand where, where they're coming from. I understand their nature, how they were raised and whatnot. And so I come to a point where, you know, I have I have my respects for them, just like I have respect for the, the wild animal. It can be a, a coyote, a, a wolf, no matter what. Like, I have my respects for them. I enjoy what those animals represent. I, I enjoy what, you know, this other person, you know, a human, this other human, I enjoy what they represent. But however, I know in a long term, this is not going to work out. You know, I understand that the lion or the wolf will attack me eventually. Uh, I understand that, uh, you know, it's just it's just in the in in their nature, you know. So I understand that certain people will will uh, come after me, you know, it's just in their nature, you know, so I tend to keep my distance from these people. But at the same time, I don't have any hatred towards towards them for for being who they are, you know, likewise, how I don't have any hatred for the line being what the line is. I, I have I have great respects for that animal. You know, same likewise for the for uh, the scorpion. You know, I don't I don't hate the scorpion for having, you know, poison and like, you know, trying to poison people. I mean, that's just what that's just what the scorpion does, you know. And so I can't I'm not able to change their nature. And so the only way you can really influence other people's natures, uh, unlike animals, humans are uh, humans are more complex, although we can count as animals as well. But humans have a, a much more complex mind, so humans can be influenced. However, they're still subject to their nature if they aren't consciously aware of it. And so, how can you influence humans? Is you know by leading by example. You know, becoming a lighthouse, becoming someone that they can inspire to be. You know, so what that means is you know just focus on yourself, work on yourself, improve yourself, and eventually they'll they'll come to see the light if they want to, if they choose to. You know, it's all a choice, you know, uh, you can serve as a catalyst, but at the end of the day, they are the ones who have to, you know, step up to the plate and you can't influence another person by arguing or, or debating or, or any of that, uh, any of that stuff, because it will eventually lead to, to hate a lot of, uh, hate, hatefulness, a lot of, uh, resistance towards the, the, the people that they're arguing against. And so... All you have to do is just lead by example and plant the seed if they ask any questions. You know, let them come to you, let them enter your universe, you know, and you know, also practice boundaries, having healthy boundaries, limiting lim limiting limit your time around those kinds of people, you know. And don't become too engulfed into their energy. Because the longer you spend time with someone, the longer you'll adapt their their mannerisms their their thought processes you know and so you want to surround yourself with other people who are into self-improvement who are into becoming the the better versions or the greater versions you know of themselves and so if you loved yourself all you'd want to do is spread love you know if you if you hated yourself all you'd want to do is spread hate and so and even when you're hating you're hating on somebody or you hate someone, you know, let's say someone has done you dirty in a past and you're holding this grudge, you know, that the hate is eventually going to corrupt you if you don't release it, if you don't forgive that person, it will corrupt you eventually. You don't forgive people for them, but you forgive people for you. And at the same time, love them from a distance, understand that it's in their nature to be who they are, you know, and and become who you were meant to be Fo focus on your purpose you know surround yourself with, with like-minded people 
and you'll be good.